Okay, I just want to make a, a, a little note about when you move to the opposite side and you're sewing on that wing, your pins have been pushed through like this, but you're going to need to move this wing back and forth so you can push these back. I still like having them in place so you can push them back so you can see back and forth what you're doing. And then once you get the thread through and you can get your, your pieces aligned, then you can continue sewing. And again, this is not something that you should be doing with, um, with uh, a, a, a lot of other distractions. Um, this is, man, I am just the queen of the fiddly bit here. And you can see, I really don't like that stitch. So I think I'm going to pull that out. Here's, okay, this is a good, good teachable moment. When I make a miss, a miss, uh, stitch, felt is very forgiving in, in many instances. And you can see I've done a blanket stitch, which is undoubtedly a little, uh, just has a little bit more thread involved in another couple of steps. What, watch what's going to happen here. Felt is, is a bit more flexible because it's not a woven fabric. You can pull your stitch back out with little damage. Um, I think there's a glare on the camera lens and I wasn't quite figuring out where I needed that stitch to be. So I'm just going to take this here and redo it. Um, so you don't have to get like all upset and, and cut your stitches, albeit there are times in which I get really ticked off at something and just go, screw it. And I, I, <laughs> I, I figure out how to hide it and move on. And again, I'm just keeping those wings pinned and then I'm going to sew all the way to the end. Now you can see here, look at this. This is not looking good. So this means I need to go back and look at what's going on. And this is great because look at this. It's too loose. There's too much of a hole here. I didn't start my stitch back far enough. And remember, felt can pull easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. And I know where my knot is. My knot's right there. I'm going to clip my knot which means I can now pick that out. Um, and I'm going to do it the exact same way that I just showed you. Uh, come on, little knot. There we go. Um, another reason I also have a pair of tweezers because I can kind of get in there and then pull things out. So that's what I'm going to need to do here is I'm going to need to pick this out because you can see incorrect. That's too much space. And if I look here, there's, there's hardly any space. Okay, I'm going to be right back. 